China decided on a win-win game plan once it became abundantly clear that PM Modi would undermine India's interest to preserve his own. On the night of June 15th to 16th, 2020, Chinese People's Liberation Army martyred 20 Indian brave hearts. After lying about Chinese intrusion, PM Modi retaliated by banning 59 Chinese apps. What is even more appalling is the fact that PM Modi has surrendered Indian territory to China and is now paving the way for Chinese investment in India, which was frozen past the Galwan clashes. On 23rd Feb, news agency Reuters had reported, quoting government and industry sources, that 45 investment proposals from China were set for early approvals. In addition to this, the Modi government has also eased restrictions for China to invest up to 25% in a company through automatic route. It's been almost a year since Chinese troops entered Indian territory, while the PM maintained that no one entered. The fact is, PM Modi buckled under pressure and surrendered India territory to Chinese. Today, the Chinese troops are occupying land that once belonged to us. The Modi government's attitude and response towards the Chinese attack has been shameful at best and outright anti-national. From taking donations to the PM Cares Fund from Chinese firms to welcoming FDI even while Chinese troops are occupying our land, every step has proven that India's territorial integrity and national security are a low priority for this government.